I'm showing you how to get baritone for 1.21.4. So to get it, you want to head over to Meet Your Client's official website. This is going to be linked down in the description below, together actually with my Discord server, where you can find many more clients and the like, so I'd appreciate it if you could join that. Anyways, here you want to scroll down to the downloads area and you will find the download for Baritone 1.21.4. If you want to, you can immediately also download Meet Your Client to go along with that, except in this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you about Baritone. So to use Baritone, you do need to have Fabric installed for 1.21.4. If you don't have this yet or you're not sure where to get it, then I will link this down in the description below. Anyways, as you can see, I now have Baritone right over here in my downloads. Now I can press Windows and R at the same time, just like so, and then type in App Data in the box that comes up. Then hit Enter or click on OK, and you should be brought to this area right over here. You want to go into the folder called Roaming, then .minecraft, then scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. Then scroll down a little until you find the mods folder. Inside of the mods folder, you want to place this baritone mod, just like so, and then you're good. You can now close up both of these, open up the Minecraft launcher, and launch fabric for 1.21.4. Now, right before we get in, I would also like to ask you that if you appreciate me showing you this, then I would greatly appreciate it if you could subscribe. Alright, so here I am inside of Minecraft with Baritone enabled. Um, I have made a full in-depth tutorial on this channel explaining everything you need to know about how to use Baritone. If you want that, then I will link it down in the description below. For right now, I'm just going to be showing you how to get started. So, to start off, you want to press on T, enter the chat, and then you will find that baritone functions completely through the chat um, as through commands basically in vanilla minecraft you would use the slash to use commands for baritone you use the hashtag uh, we can type hashtag help in chat just like that and that is basically going to give us uh, a list of the commands there's a few pages over here and i'll expand all of those and um here we have all of the commands to find out how to use them and what they do. They do have descriptions over here, but you can hover above them as you can see, and then uh, you'll find some more information about them. Now, as a bonus, you can also click on these just like that, then scroll down to the bottom over here, and you'll get some more information right down there as well. So for right now, I'll just go over all of the commonly used commands. So um, let's start off with the goal command. We can type hashtag goal in chat uh, right over here, and you can reset it, set it, clear it, for example, um, or set it to, to a specific location. In this case, I'm just going to be setting it to my current location right over here. Um, you can also type in coordinates if you want to do so. Now this is my goal. Uh, if I go over here, I can use the hashtag path command, just like that. And now I am going to be pathed all the way to my goal. Um, as I said, I just set it to my current location, but you can also type in a specific set of coordinates for that. Now, um, that is one way to use this client, but there is also another common way, and that is the hashtag go to command. So we can type hashtag go to, and then we can, for example, type in coordinates or a block. Uh, in this case, I see some spruce trees over there. Maybe I want to go over there. So I'll choose um, spruce log, just like that. As you can see, there is autofill, which is fantastic. Now go to spruce log. Um, that is going to bring me to the spruce log that is closest to my area. Um, all right, and it is going to every single time take the most efficient route. So apparently these spruce logs right over here were the closest, um, to exactly where, uh, to, to where I was earlier. So that's fantastic, but there's actually an even better way to do this. Um, and I'll demonstrate this right over here. Instead of the hashtag go to command, we can maybe use the hashtag mine command. And the mine command is going to allow you to mine something. Of course, once again, you can choose whatever you want, except for that in this case, I'm going to be choosing the spruce log right over there. And now apparently that spruce log was closer. So, all right, turns out that, uh, I got a little far away from that one. So these, uh, spruce logs in this, floating tree right over here were apparently the closest so we're going to go over to those mine them and then we'll immediately move on 
to the next spruce logs. Now, this is a good demonstration of what we can do. We can pause if you want to do so. And um, well, this thing is going to be paused. You can resume as well. Um, so let's do that right over here. And you can also, of course, stop. Fantastic. Um, if you don't want to type stop for some reason, the hashtag console cancel uh, command works as well, which is obviously really nice. Now, let's say you're going something pretty somewhere pretty far away. Now we need something that isn't here. Uh, terracotta, maybe. All right. So we are going to be pausing to the nearest terracotta, which is uh, all the way over there. As you can see, it's not that close to where I am right now. And maybe I want some more information so I can type maybe hashtag ETA and then as you can see, I'm going to arrive in 37 seconds. Uh, I can type in some other things as well. For example, hashtag proc. And that is going to give me uh, some more information about the route that I'm currently taking. We can stop that. That was uh, my, my bad. Interesting world generation here too, by the way. Not sure how that happened, but oh well. Um, basically, that is the basics of how to use baritone. Of course, there's a bunch more commands than... Um, then the ones I just showed you and the commands that I did show do have some more functionalities as well. You can get really in-depth with this. There is so much you can do. It's fantastic, of course. Um, to learn, I highly recommend you just experiment. Uh, it's incredibly user-friendly. As you can see, all the hovering, all the descriptions over here, it's so easy to use. Um, and basically, that was, for right now, basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching. And I do, of course, hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.